not teen power, not the power to save the world. I'm here to talk about the source of your own personal superpowers. That is, the power that gives you the confidence to be super. Let's look at a few familiar characters. Who's this? Superman. 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 What are his superpowers? He can fly. He can fly. He's fast. He's strong. What about this guy? Spider-Man. Right? What does what does he do? Shoots webs out of his. Yeah, webs, climbs. And him? Aquaman. Aquaman. What what can he do? Aquaman. He has a fish. It's underwater. Well, what is a superpower? Here's where I would give you the definition of a superpower, as in the magic heroes possess. But the dictionaries I looked in didn't even have a definition of this capacity. They define a superpower only as a very powerful and influential nation. The kinds of superpowers I'm referring to, though, have their roots in ancient myths. Think Hercules, for example. But according to CNN, the actual words superhero and superpowers weren't developed until World War II, when popular culture became fixated on war and heroes. The first superpower-wielding superheroes were developed as the main characters in comic books, science fiction shows, and movies. Many people think that superpowers only exist in fiction, but I disagree. Think about it. Most of us are inspired by things that make us feel super, that make us feel powerful. These motivators give us superpowers that make us capable of achieving things that might seem difficult to reach. All right, I'll come back to this in a few minutes. But for me, that motivation was a pair of cheap plastic aqua shoes. This is a picture of me, ready to go to the pool. Notice the self-selected glasses to protect my eyes, the sunscreen to protect my skin, the flip-flops with bags to protect my feet, and I got to put on water wings to protect my life. When I was little, I was an observer and a thinker, definitely not a physical risk taker. <laughs> All right. For example, when I was little and at the playground, I would survey all of the playground equipment, mentally rating the danger of each piece before selecting where to start. <laughs> I would shy away from chaotic situations at birthday parties and playgroups where people were too wild or just too loud. I had an immense fear of Chuck E. Cheese. I thought standing ankle deep in the ocean constituted jumping waves and even surfing. Karaoke kind of freaked me out. <laughs> I hated to see earthworms struggle and die on the sidewalk, and I often requested to play Max and Ruby, the game modeled after a children's TV show where the main character did not even talk. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I was outgoing and friendly, definitely not a thrill seeker. But then, these happened. One day, my mom, younger sister, and I were running errands at Target. And I fell in love with this magical pair of Barbie water shoes. Mind you, I did not play with Barbie, and I never asked my parents to buy me anything. But the situation was magnetic. There they were, all pink and purple and Barbie-fied. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of colors pink and purple, but I just had to have them. From the shelf to my feet, I proceeded to shuffle around Target in these awkward shoes, still bound together by the bungee between. <laughs> my mom agreed on the premise that, after all, they would make the beach and pool safe. <laughs> Making it to the register in two stiff, tightly patched and price tagged shoes was the first risk inherent to the purchase. I was already feeling powerful in a situation that was rather unsafe. Once in the car, I fluttered my feet and belted out rock songs all the way home. Once we arrived home, I unlatched my seatbelt all by myself and jumped from the back seat of the SUV three feet down to the pavement below. Free as a bird, I took off around the neighborhood. What are those? My neighbors asked. I looked down. Wait a minute. And replied with conviction. Why am I Barbie jump shoes, of course? I mean, look how high I can jump. In those shoes, not only could I jump high, 
that I could ride the highest slide, dive into the pool without a float, and paddle out above my head in the ocean. Those shoes made me smile. They made me feel powerful. They made me believe. Those shoes gave me superpowers. This went on until the end of kindergarten, but I outgrew them. I didn't need them anymore. So now, fast forward almost 10 years. As I have grown, so have the challenges. School is harder, sports are faster, people are more complex, and the world just seems bigger. But I've continued to be changed by my Barbie jumps. It seems that I consciously seek out people who also believe in the power of the heart and mind as motivation for loving and exploring. This year, through my passion for, for performing and connecting with others, I met a local artist, teacher, and mentor named Abernathy Land. She seeks to live her passion, creating and encouraging her students to do the same, regardless of what life may present. I don't think she ever wore Barbie jumps, but I know she would have loved them. <laughs> This Christmas, I received a print of hers that depicts a dainty dancer in a bold monster hat with the message, let's do this, as a motivation to stay brave and follow your dreams. It's important to know that as frail as you may feel, there's a brave monster inside of you. I also find motivation in another print she has recently designed, showing a stick person in a cape with the message, being afraid, is a hilariously backwards superpower. Her motivation for its design was something her father always told her. Being brave isn't not being afraid. It's being afraid and doing it anyway. So, I have Barbie jump shoes and a monster hat. How about you? What empowers you? You all need something to believe in, literally. What's your reminder that you are stronger than you think? Athletes, for instance, play games in lucky jerseys. Students take tests in lucky desks. And performers audition in lucky outfits. But good luck charms aren't inherently lucky. They empower. They simply can help push you to take risks and to believe. Motivation is unique and individual, but it can push you past your limits. So, what's your superpower? <laughs> Thank you.